If you can hear my voice, match me, match me, match me. Hi, my name is Lamar Birch, also known as Coach Awesome. I am a recess trainer for Aswell Green's recess training program. Our goal is to make recess safe, active, and fun. And in order to do that in the current conditions, let us first go over some safety tips. Remember to wash your hands before and after playing. Try to stay six feet apart. Try not to touch your face. And if you have to cough or sneeze, <clears throat> dab it into your elbow. Snap twice if we are ready to play now. Well, this is embarrassing. Guess I need to learn how to snap. In this video, I will focus on a fun and safe game called Red Light, Green Light. What's the name of the game? Remember, it's important for your students to know the name of the games that they are playing. Red Light, Green Light is a great game for students of all ages. It helps maintain safety, appropriate distance, and you need little to no equipment for this game. To be ready to lead games, we always map out our play space, designate boundaries, and remove any items that would be a safety risk to our students. Make sure that we have the equipment that we need for the game. For this game, there will be no equipment needed. Get your students in an organized but spaced out area. Line them up six feet apart from each other and remember to use your attention grabbers. Once your students are lined up, it is time for you to explain the game. If you want to participate with your students, you can start off as a traffic light, or you can have another student do it. The person who is a traffic light will say, red light, green light, one, two, three. I'm going to say it again. Red light, green light, one, two, three. While you are saying red light, green light, one, two, three, your back will be turned towards the students. When your back is turned, that means that it is a green light and the students will move forward. When you are finished saying red light, green light, one, two, three, you will turn around facing the students and your eyes are open. That means that it's a red light and the students have to freeze. The winner of this game will be the first student who makes it past the traffic light. Remember to use a loud, clear voice when explaining the game. Ask questions to check for understanding. When do you move? When do you freeze? To play the game and keep it fun and safe, we always add in some modifications and maintain the rules of the game. Remember, when you are explaining the game, have students practice moving towards the traffic light and also have them practice freezing before the game begins. The person who is the traffic light should make sure the students are freezing when the light is red. Remind the students to be the winner, they have to go past the traffic light. And also, there is no tagging nor touching in the game. Modifying the game is highly encouraged. When the students are moving to the different places, have them run, jog, skip, walk, anything of your choice. I hope you have fun. We will have another new and fun game for you. So stay tuned for more videos of fun and safe games to play. Thank you.